All right, homework practice 6-3 is just basically an extension lesson on 6-2. Uh, it's pretty basic here. So we're going to go through and, again, see if we need to subtract the ones and regroup. In uh, following up with the students, basically, we start always at the ones and we move over. 2 minus 6 is not going to work. If I have 2, I cannot subtract 6, 1, 2. So we need to regroup and take a group of tens and bring it over to the ones. So the students should be pretty familiar with this. Again, this is a visual way to do it. If they need to draw it out, they're more than welcome to. But they're able to do simple uh, addition and subtraction facts in their head. So it should not be anything too tricky for them. So let's take a look here. 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We do not need to regroup. We can subtract that one straight down. And the 2, we just straight down. We do not need to regroup. Okay, 1 minus 8. If I have 1... I subtract 8, I can only subtract 1. So we know that we're going to need to regroup because the number above in the ones place, if it is smaller than the number below, we've got to regroup. A lot of times the students will get confused and make this like a 7. They'll see it as 8 minus 1. So just reminding them to, to go from left, I'm sorry, right to left and top to bottom, which is opposite of the way we read. So sometimes it can be confusing to always start with the ones place, but we always remind them that they want to start with the right one, which is on the right side. <clears throat> so we've got one minus eight, that won't work. So we will need to take a group of 10 over here. One group of 10, four minus one group of 10 is three. And then we're going to add 10 over here. So we've got one plus 10, one plus 10 becomes 11. And then we can subtract down 11 minus eight is three three, and we're just going to drop our three straight down from there. Okay, five minus seven. If I have five, one, two, three, four, five, uh, it's definitely smaller than the number below. So we're going to need to regroup. We're going to take one group over here of 10 and add it over here. So we are going to have six minus one group of 10 is five groups of 10. And then 10 plus five becomes 15. 15 minus 7 is 8, and we're just dropping that 5 straight down. 8 minus 9. So if I have 8 and I want to subtract 9, I don't have enough. I only have 8. I need to have more. So I'm going to take one group of 10 away over here. 7 minus 1 group of 10 is going to become 6. I've got 8. I take that group of 10. I need to add it on over here. 8 plus 10 is 18. 18 minus 9 is 9, and we're dropping that 6 straight down for a difference of 69. Okay, number 5. We've got 3 minus 6. 3 minus 1, 2, 3. Again, it's not going to work because that number is smaller that's above the number below it. So we're going to need to regroup. We've got 8 groups of 10. We need to subtract 1 group of 10. Subtracting 1 group of 10 over here becomes 7. We're going to regroup that group of 10 over here. So it's going to become 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 minus 6 is 7. 7 minus nothing goes straight down to 77. All right, so clearly I'm recording these in my classroom uh, before school, and I just got a phone call, so that was super exciting. All right, let's carry on to the back page <clears throat> with some word problems and helping the students understand exactly what's being asked. I like to have them circle all of the numbers in a word problem and then go through and figure out which ones we actually need. So 53 grapes are on a plate. Andrea eats five of them. How many grapes are left now? So if she eats five of them and how many are left on the plate now, lets us know that we're subtracting. So 53 minus 5. We have 3 minus 5. 3 again minus 5. 1, 2, 3 is not going to work. So we are going to need to regroup. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to take one group of 10 over here. 5 minus 1 group of 10. Um, yeah. Minus 1 group of 10. It's going to be 4 groups of 10. And then we're going to add that 1 group of 10 over here to the top number. 10 plus 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. We're going to take our 4 Drop it straight down to 48. Okay, it says Chata reads seven pages. His book has 67. How many pages does Chato have left to read? So we have 67 pages. He's read seven of them. 
So let's see if we need to regroup. Seven minus seven. If we have seven ones, we can take away seven ones and that works, that becomes zero. And this six, we can just drop straight down. So we do not need to regroup on that one. 60 pages, sorry, I forgot to put 48 grapes over here. <clears throat> our higher order thinking. Complete the subtraction frame. This is our subtraction frame. Subtract a one digit number from a two digit number. So the students can actually go through and figure out what they wanna do, but our, our difference here is 76. So we have to think of some things that we can add um, up and we're gonna to need to regroup is basically the whole premise of, of what we're doing here. So seven plus, let's just pick a number uh, that's larger than six. I'm gonna pick seven. Six plus seven is 13, okay? We're gonna to need to regroup. So you'll see what I'm doing here in just a second. So what we know for this number here is it's going to be a three in the ones place and we regrouped and borrowed 10 ones from over here. So we know that's going to be three. So let's pick a number, I'm just gonna pick eight. So we'll say it's 83 minus seven. If I had to regroup and take a group of 10 from over here, that eight is now going to become a seven because we added the tens over. So again, it's just higher order thinking, getting the students to take a look at different numbers. Okay, let's go to our assessment. Again, they will have a question that is very similar to this on their unit assessment. It says, use the numbers on the cards to find the missing numbers in the problem. So we can go through and kind of take a look at it right off the bat. We've got one minus three. We're not quite sure what that's gonna be because one, we can't minus three from. So right away off the bat, we know we're gonna to have to regroup and take two from here or one 10 from here and add a group of 10 over here. So two minus one is going to be one. So we know we've used that one. And then 10 plus one is 11, so we know we've used that one. And then we can check it, 11 minus three equals eight. There's our third one there. So just helping the students know how to plug things in and understanding when to regroup.